Hello, hello, how are you? I've had a wee request for some help with playing Eau Claire de la Lune, so I'm happy to do that for you just now. Um, I'm also going to use it as an opportunity to talk you through the process that I would use for teaching or learning any tune at all, so um, hopefully you'll find it helpful for both of those things. So I've got the music here for Eau Claire de la Lune, otherwise known as By the Light of the Moon. It's a beautiful French lullaby, and because it's a lullaby, it's a nice gentle tune, and we so we never have to go fast. That's something that's quite nice to know, is that once we've got it, we don't really have to take it much faster. So let's have a think about the process for learning the tune. The first thing we're going to think about is what the names of the notes are, so let's have a look at that. Remember the letters underneath of the chords, they are not the names of the notes, but we are going to start in a D. Okay, so we're not worrying about how to play them just now, we're just going to think about the letters, the names of the notes, which would be the same no matter what instrument we play, so long as we see our old friend here, the treble clef. So we're going to start in our D, and we're going to go D, 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 E, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, E, E, D, D. We've got a repeat, so we'll do that again. D, 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 E, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, E, E, D, D. Good, so hopefully that all makes sense so far. We haven't had to worry about anything else except what the letters are, and if you feel like you've got that, Brilliant, we're ready for the next step. If you feel like you're not totally sure about that, then feel free just to go back and have a look at some of the things we've done before and have a wee revise over that and make sure that you feel like you understand. So the next step, now we know the letter names of the notes, are how do we play those notes? Now we know all the tunes on this page are on the D string, which is very helpful. So we know we're going to be in the D string here. So this is the first note is D, so it must be an open D. So we're going to start with open. So we've got open, 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 one, two, one. Open, two, one, one. Open, open. Open, 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 one, two, one. Open, two, one, one. Open, open. Right, so we've got the names of the notes, we've worked out how to play them. The next thing that we need to know is how long does each note last? Because we can sometimes, sometimes what happens is we can go through and play all the notes right, but it still doesn't sound right, it still doesn't sound like a tune. So we need to make sure we're getting the rhythms right before that sounds like a tune, before we start to recognise it. So let's have a look at that now. So we've got ta, 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 ah, ta, ah, ta, 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 Ta 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 Excellent. So those are the three things we need to know so now that we're ready to play. So we know the names of the notes, we know how to play them, we know how they la how long they last. Let's have a go at playing it. Hi! Okay, let's start by clapping the rhythm of our tune together. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 again. Ta, 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 ta. Ah, done. Good job. Well done. All right, so let's grab our instruments next. Here we go. We'll start on banjo position with our violin on our knee. I'm going to find our D string. Okay, off we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the next step we're going to do it with our violin on our shoulder. Let's get our fingers ready. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job. 
Okay, if you know how to use your bow, the next step would be to do it with your bow. But I'm aware this is a chapter one tune, so you might not have started using your bow yet. And if not, that's totally fine. But if you can use your bow, we'll do it with that just now so that you can have a go at that too. Okay? So just making sure our fingers are in tune. They're hovering above the notes, ready to go. And off we go. One, two, three, four. Good job. So what you might have noticed is when I was plucking, you just have to leave a space for the long notes because you can't always hear it all the way to the end. But once I started using my bow, you can keep the bow moving all the way to the end of the long note. So when you're having a go at that, try and make sure that's what you do too. Okay, well I hope that's helped. Thank you very much for joining in. Um, please let me know what you'd like next time and I'll do that for you. Okay, bye. <laughs>